my beloved love. This may be restriction in the form of viewing this connection in a limited way. Perhaps in the past, you were very attached to some kind of limitation or restriction regarding what this twin flame path needed to look like or what the physical landscape of this relationship needed to look like for you in the physical world. But I see that through the powerful arts of surrender and through practicing this spiritual flexibility we touched on earlier, you are actually aligning with a higher potential version of outcomes here between you and this person within your connection. And I'm talking about the physical component of your connection that we sometimes refer to as the relationship. Of course, the connection is always there regardless of what that relationship looks like, but I'm seeing that physical 3D relationship manifesting in a way that may be somewhat unexpected and also seems to be out of the box in some way, seems to break free of some of those previously constructed limitations created from that more rigid 3D-based mindset. Now, I will say that in the past, and what the two of you seem to be shifting out of, is the devil energy where the two of you have been bonded together in this eternal connection in a way that may have actually felt painful, codependent, or really heavy to one or both of you. Specifically, I'm feeling that whoever identifies here as the divine feminine may have felt as though this connection was almost becoming like a chain, like something very heavy that they were dragging around with them. And I'm hearing that if that was the case, that sense of weight was actually meant to illuminate any patterns of unworthiness, fear, or codependency within you that may have caused you in the past to attempt to control outcomes here. And the more you shift into a knowingness of your own worthiness, into self-trust, I am picking up that you are breaking free of this devil energy. It's very ironic because the intensity of a twin flame connection means that it's really two sides of a coin. You can both embody the lover's energy, that essence of ultimate harmonious partnership, union, collaboration, in alignment at both the physical and spiritual level when things are healed and in sync energetically. But when things are blocked energetically, the very opposite can be true. You can feel as though you're in the devil energy. You can feel like there's a kind of intense heaviness and dark emotionality around the bond. You can feel as though you're chained into something that you just want to get out of. And I'm hearing that as you find the ways, identify the ways that perhaps you've been running from yourself, you actually shift the energy of this bond from this devil energy, from something that feels like a weight or a chain, to the lover's card, to something that supports you and your freedom and the ultimate highest timeline you are aligning with. And this shift will take place regardless of what that physical 3D relationship looks like with that person. From Divine Muscular Type yes if you believe.